Hello, I'm Alex Hui. In this video, I would like to share with you some home remedies for trigger finger. Trigger finger is a condition where when we bend the fingers, it is stuck and we cannot straighten it. And when we move it, there is a popping or clicking sensation. And this is often painful and it is the worst in the morning. And it can happen to any of the fingers. So why do people get trigger fingers? First of all, we need to know a little bit of anatomy. Bones itself does not move and we need tendons and tendons are what connects the muscles and the bones. So when we contract or relax a muscle, it moves the tendons and therefore moving the bones. So in the fingers there are connective tissues that connects the tendon to the finger bones and that is called a pulley. And under normal circumstances, when we move the fingers, the tendon glides through the pulley smoothly and there are no issues. However, if the tendon is being inflamed, thickened or even having a bump, then it will get caught in the pulley and therefore when we move the fingers it causes pain, we feel stuck and there's a popping sensation when it finally glides through. And this is usually caused by repeated gripping, so the overuse of the hand or certain health conditions such as diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis can increase the chance of having a trigger finger. Now I will share with you some massages and exercises that you can do at home to relieve the symptoms of trigger fingers. And if you would like to learn more about this condition, therapies used, what diet is suitable or not suitable for trigger fingers, feel free to read an article that I wrote and I will put the link in the description below. So now let's get started. Before we begin the massage and exercise, we can first apply a heat pad on the hand or soaking the hand in warm water to increase the blood flow. And if we choose to soak the hand in water, make sure we dry it out completely right after we're pulling it out. And if you're outside, you don't have these resources, that is totally fine. We can jump directly to the next exercise, but doing this can help to make the following massage and exercise more effective. First of all, we're going to massage the flexor muscles of the forearm. And these muscles are what generates the movement of the bending of the fingers. And it is located around here. So if you turn the palm up and on the medial side, which means the side that's closer to your body, these muscle groups right here are the flexor muscles. So what we can do is we can start by close to the elbow. We can start using a thumb and feel which points are tender and sensitive. And let's say if I find this point is really sensitive, what I can do is I can press in and then I'm gonna do circle rotations. And I can do this for one minute. So we have to make sure the pressure is enough that it penetrates in, but also not too much that it causes too much pain. Then afterwards, you can start to work your way up and feel all the sensitive points along these muscles. And whichever muscle that you feel sensitive, you can do the same massage motion and we can do that for one minute for each point. Alternatively, you can also use our other forearm and put it on top and do a rolling motion. This method is more powerful because we can apply all our body weight onto one point. So make sure the arm being massaged is being relaxed and as the same as before, for each tenor spots, we can do one minute each. Next, we're going to be massaging the hand and usually the point that is most sensitive is around right here at the base of the fingers and that is where the A1 pulleys are. And now I'm just going to use the middle finger as an example. So middle finger, if I have a trigger finger right here, it is often these points that are most sensitive. So what I'm going to do is use my thumb I'm gonna press that in, and I'm gonna do circle rotations. Now this could be really painful, so make sure that it is not too painful, but also at the same time, we need to have enough penetration in so that we can relax it. So we're gonna do circle rotations after clockwise or anti-clockwise, we can do the other side. And then besides circle rotations, we can also do like a up and down motion and a left and right motion. So after doing this spot for a minute or two, we're going to move down a little bit and that is between these two bones right here. Circle rotations on the other side and then upwards, downwards. Right now I'm just demonstrating, so I'm doing a little bit faster, but in reality we can do that for up to a minute or two for each spot. And then after we do it all the way here, we can do the other side right here. So circle rotations, we're going to do the same thing, a minute or two of each spot, and we slowly work our way down. And then afterwards, we're going to turn our palm, and then we're going to do the other side. So again, if say my problem finger is my middle finger, I am going to do right in between these two bones, and right in between these two bones. So we're going to do circle rotations. So other side. 
up and down, left and right, and we're gonna slowly work our way down, and then this side as well. Next up, we're gonna use our four fingers to grab our effective finger, and then we're gonna, at the same time, we're pulling and pushing, so in opposite directions. So pulling of these four fingers, and then this, we're gonna be sliding upwards. So pulling and then sliding upwards. We can do that for about 10 to 20 times. And then we're gonna do the other side. So pull with these four fingers and then slide it up. Next, we're gonna do a circle rotation of the joint. So same, we're gonna use four fingers and pull it up. And then we're gonna do circle rotations. So we can do 10 times clockwise and 10 times anti-clockwise. So make sure there's enough pressure that you're pulling and turning at the same time. So now we're gonna be stretching our fingers and we can simply straighten our arm while fingers pointing upwards. And the other hand, we're gonna hold it and then pull back. And now you should be feeling a stretching sensation on this area. So after you pull back to the point that you feel the stretch, not too painful, but you feel the stretch, then we'll hold this for 15 seconds. So after 15 seconds, we're gonna slowly release and then we can do 10 sets of those. So for this one, it's only stretching of these four fingers. And if the trigger finger is on the thumb, we do exactly the same by using two fingers. And then we're gonna pull this back to the point that you feel the stretch of the base of the thumb. And then we're gonna hold this for 15 seconds. So after 15 seconds, we're gonna slowly release. And then we can do 10 sets of that as well. The last exercises that we'll be doing is simply spreading the fingers. So we're gonna hold this right here and then we're gonna spread the fingers apart like we're giving a five and then we'll hold this for 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, we're gonna slowly relax and then we're gonna do it again and we're gonna do a total of 10 sets. So that's a full set of trigger finger home remedies and you can do that three times a day. And by doing this set, the symptoms should be relieved. And of course, the best is to go see your local doctor or practitioner for the most accurate diagnosis and recommendations. And if you'd like to learn more about other home remedies such as diet for trigger fingers, feel free to read an article that I wrote and I have put the link in the description below. So thank you for watching today. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. Stay healthy and I will see you next time.